Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring IPv6 um, OSPF version 3. Uh, we're going to take a look at the design of OSPF v3 over a frame uh, relay network, a non-broadcast network type here. Um, we went over in the last IPv6 lab, we went over, uh, that was lab 4, that was RIP NG. Um, we went over RIP running it on a broadcast uh, multi access network uh, Ethernet. On uh, this one, we're going to do a non broadcast uh, network type, which is um, uh, frame relay uh, by default. Um, what we're going to see here is, uh, like I was saying in the last video, um, that route recursion is a little different here um, on the non-broadcast over fr you know frame relay uh, network we're going to have to map in here our uh, link local IP addresses because the dynamic routing protocols in IPv6 uh, recurse to uh, the link local IP addresses and not the you know aggregate global IPs so what we'll do here is uh, we're going to configure um, OSPF version 3. Uh, we're just going to do a basic OSPF version 3 configuration here. Uh, we're just going to you know, bring the neighbor relationship up uh, between, the, uh, between the routers. We're going to make sure we have uh, layer 3 uh, reachability. And we're just going to take a look at how to configure and verify, uh, you know, our neighbors in OSPF uh, version 3. So OSPF version 3, just a little uh, background on it, uh, it's still using protocol number 89. Um, all the timers and the network types, they're all still there and they're all the same as, you know, uh, OSPF v2 uh, running, you know, IPv4. Uh, what we're going to see a little different, uh, some major differences here is that the authentication in OSPF, uh, it, it's going to use uh, IPsec authentication. Uh, we're not going to actually do that in this lab. That's a little advanced feature of OSPF v3. We might do that in a later lab, uh, which, you know, I haven't done before, but it's pretty cool and you know, we'll go ahead and then take a look at how to configure, you know, uh, OSPF v3 authentication uh, later on in a different lab. Um, again, we're going to see a major difference here. Uh, you can configure the routing protocol on a per link basis, uh, just like just like we did in RIP NG in the last lab. Um, we did it under the interface. Um, instead of, you know, setting up the network command under, you know, the uh, routing protocol in router configuration mode. Also, what we're going to see here is that the, where the designated router and, um, and backup designated router, the OSPF network types that, uh, you know, perform BDR and, uh, DR elections, we're going to see that they have a multicast address of FF02 uh, colon colon 6, whereas the um, all the other routers basically are going to be given the multicast address of FF02 colon colon